a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Machine Learning Machine learning is a field of artificial intelligence that uses statistical techniques to give computer systems the ability to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. The name machine learning was coined in 1959 by Arthur Samuel. Machine learning explores the study and construction of algorithms that can learn from and make predictions on data such algorithms overcome following strictly static program instructions by making data-driven predictions or decisions through building a model from sample inputs. Machine learning is employed in a range of computing tasks where designing and programming explicit algorithms with good performance is difficult or infeasible. Example applications include email filtering, detection of network intruders, and computer vision. Machine learning is closely related to computational statistics, which also focuses on prediction making through the use of computers. It has strong ties to mathematical optimization, which delivers methods, theory and application domains to the field. Machine learning is sometimes conflated with data mining, where the latter subfield focuses more on exploratory data analysis and is known as unsupervised learning. Within the field of data analytics, machine learning is a method used to devise complex models and algorithms that lend themselves to prediction. In commercial use, this is known as predictive analytics. These analytical models allow researchers, data scientists, engineers, and analysts to produce reliable, repeatable decisions and results, and uncover hidden insights through learning from historical relationships and trends in the data. Overview Tom M. Mitchell provided a widely quoted, more formal definition of the algorithms studied in the machine learning field. A computer program is said to learn from experience with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P if its performance at tasks in T, as measured by P, improves with experience E. This definition of the tasks in which machine learning is concerned offers a fundamentally operational definition rather than defining the field in cognitive terms. This follows Alan Turing's proposal in his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, in which the question, can machines think, is replaced with the question, can machines do what we can do? In Turing's proposal the various characteristics that could be possessed by a thinking machine and the various implications in constructing one are exposed. Machine Learning Applications Another categorization of machine learning tasks arises when one considers the desired output of a machine learned system, among other categories of machine learning problems. Learning to learn learns its own inductive bias based on previous experience. Developmental learning, elaborated for robot learning, generates its own sequences of learning situations to cumulatively acquire repertoires of novel skills through autonomous self-exploration and social interaction with human teachers, and using guidance mechanisms such as active learning, maturation, motor synergies, and imitation. History and relationships to other fields Arthur Samuel, an American pioneer in the field of computer gaming and artificial intelligence, coined the term, machine learning, in 1959 while at IBM, as a scientific endeavor. Machine learning grew out of the quest for artificial intelligence. Already in the early days of AI as an academic discipline, some researchers were interested in having machines learn from data. They attempted to approach the problem with various symbolic methods, as well as what were then termed, neural networks. These were mostly perceptrons, and other models that were later found to be reinventions of the generalized linear models of statistics. Probabilistic reasoning was also employed, especially in automated medical diagnosis. However, an increasing emphasis on the logical, knowledge-based approach caused a rift between AI and machine learning. Probabilistic systems were plagued by theoretical and practical problems of data acquisition and representation. By 1980, expert systems had come to dominate AI, and statistics was out of favor. Work on symbolic-slash-knowledge-based learning did continue within AI, leading to inductive logic programming. 
But the more statistical line of research was now outside the field of AI proper, in pattern recognition and information retrieval. Neural networks research had been abandoned by AI and computer science around the same time. This line, too, was continued outside the AI-CS field, as connectionism, by researchers from other disciplines including Hopfield, Rumelet, and Hinton. Their main success came in the mid-1980s with the reinvention of backpropagation. Machine learning, reorganized as a separate field, started to flourish in the 1990s. The field changed its goal from achieving artificial intelligence to tackling solvable problems of a practical nature. It shifted focus away from the symbolic approaches it had inherited from AI, and toward methods and models borrowed from statistics and probability theory. It also benefited from the increasing availability of digitized information, and the ability to distribute it via the Internet. Machine learning and data mining often employ the same methods and overlap significantly, but while machine learning focuses on prediction, based on known properties learned from the training data, data mining focuses on the discovery of unknown properties in the data. Data mining uses many machine learning methods, but with different goals. On the other hand, machine learning also employs data mining methods as unsupervised learning, or as a pre-processing step to improve learner accuracy. Much of the confusion between these two research communities comes from the basic assumptions they work with. In machine learning, performance is usually evaluated with respect to the ability to reproduce known knowledge. While in knowledge discovery and data mining the key task is the discovery of previously unknown knowledge, evaluated with respect to known knowledge, an uninformed method will easily be outperformed by other supervised methods. While in a typical KDD task, supervised methods cannot be used due to the unavailability of training data. Machine learning also has intimate ties to optimization. Many learning problems are formulated as minimization of some loss function on a training set of examples. Loss functions express the discrepancy between the predictions of the model being trained and the actual problem instances. The difference between the two fields arises from the goal of generalization. While optimization algorithms can minimize the loss on a training set, machine learning is concerned with minimizing the loss on unseen samples. Relation to statistics Machine learning and statistics are closely related fields. According to Michael I. Jordan, the ideas of machine learning, from methodological principles to theoretical tools, have had a long prehistory in statistics. He also suggested the term data science as a placeholder to call the overall field. Leo Breiman distinguished two statistical modeling paradigms, data model and algorithmic model, wherein, algorithmic model, means more. or less the machine learning algorithms like random forest. Some statisticians have adopted methods from machine learning, leading to a combined field that they call statistical learning. Theory A core objective of a learner is to generalize from its experience. Generalization in this context is the ability of a learning machine to perform accurately on new unseen examples slash tasks after having experienced a learning data set. The training examples come from some generally unknown probability distribution. and the learner has to build a general model about this space that enables it to produce sufficiently accurate predictions in new cases. The computational analysis of machine learning algorithms and their performance is a branch of theoretical computer science known as computational learning theory. Because training sets are finite and the future is uncertain, learning theory usually does not yield guarantees of the performance of algorithms. Instead, Probabilistic bounds on the performance are quite common. The bias-variance decomposition is one way to quantify generalization error. 
for the best performance in the context of generalization. The complexity of the hypothesis should match the complexity of the function underlying the data. If the hypothesis is less complex than the function, then the model has underfit the data. If the complexity of the model is increased in response, then the training error decreases. But if the hypothesis is too complex, then the model is subject to overfitting and generalization will be poorer. In addition to performance bounds, computational learning theorists study the time complexity and feasibility of learning. In computational learning theory, a computation is considered feasible if it can be done in polynomial time. There are two kinds of time complexity results. Positive results show that a certain class of functions can be learned in polynomial time. Negative results show that certain classes cannot be learned in polynomial time. Artificial Neural Networks An artificial neural network learning algorithm, usually called neural network, is a learning algorithm that is vaguely inspired by biological neural networks. Computations are structured in terms of an interconnected group of artificial neurons, processing information using a connectionist approach to computation. Modern neural networks are nonlinear statistical data modeling tools. They are usually used to model complex relationships between inputs and outputs, to find patterns in data, or to capture the statistical structure in an unknown joint probability distribution between observed variables. Deep learning. Falling hardware prices. And the development of GPUs for personal use in the last few years have contributed to the development of the concept of deep learning which consists of multiple hidden layers in an artificial neural network. This approach tries to model the way the human brain processes light and sound into vision and hearing. Some successful applications of deep learning are computer vision and speech recognition. Inductive logic programming. Inductive logic programming is an approach to rule learning using logic programming as a uniform representation for input examples, background knowledge, and hypotheses. Given an encoding of the known background knowledge and a set of examples represented as a logical database of facts, an ILP system will derive a hypothesized logic program that entails all positive and no negative examples. Inductive programming is a related field that considers any kind of programming languages for representing hypotheses, such as functional programs. Support vector machines Support vector machines are a set of related supervised learning methods used for classification and regression. Given a set of training examples, each marked as belonging to one of two categories. An SVM training algorithm builds a model that predicts whether a new example falls into one category or the other. Clustering Cluster analysis is the assignment of a set of observations into subsets so that observations within the same cluster are similar according to some pre-designated criterion or criteria. While observations drawn from different clusters are dissimilar, different clustering techniques make different assumptions on the structure of the data, often defined by some similarity metric, and evaluated for example by internal compactness and separation between different clusters. Other methods are based on estimated density and graph connectivity. Clustering is a method of unsupervised learning and a common technique for statistical data analysis. Bayesian networks A Bayesian network, belief network or directed acyclic graphical model is a probabilistic graphical model that represents a set of random variables and their conditional independencies via a directed acyclic graph. For example, a Bayesian network could represent the probabilistic relationships between diseases and symptoms. 
Given symptoms, the network can be used to compute the probabilities of the presence of various diseases. Efficient algorithms exist that perform inference and learning. Representation learning Several learning algorithms, mostly unsupervised learning algorithms, aim at discovering better representations of the inputs provided during training. Classical examples include principal components analysis, and cluster analysis. Representation learning algorithms often attempt to preserve the information in their input, but transform it in a way that makes it useful. Often as a pre-processing step before performing classification or predictions, allowing reconstruction of the inputs coming from the unknown data generating distribution. While not being necessarily faithful for configurations that are implausible under that distribution, manifold learning algorithms attempt to do so under the constraint that the learned representation is low-dimensional. Sparse coding algorithms attempt to do so under the constraint that the learned representation is sparse. Multilinear subspace learning algorithms aim to learn low-dimensional representations directly from tensor representations for multidimensional data without reshaping them into vectors. Deep learning algorithms discover multiple levels of representation, or a hierarchy of features, with higher level, more abstract features defined in terms of lower level features. It has been argued that an intelligent machine is one that learns a representation that disentangles the underlying factors of variation that explain the observed data. Similarity and metric learning in this problem, the learning machine is given pairs of examples that are considered similar and pairs of less similar objects. It then needs to learn a similarity function that can predict if new objects are similar. It is sometimes used in recommendation systems. Sparse dictionary learning In this method, a datum is represented as a linear combination of basis functions, and the coefficients are assumed to be sparse. Let x be a d-dimensional datum, d be a d by n matrix, where each column of d represents a basis function. R is the coefficient to represent x using d mathematically. Sparse dictionary learning means solving x backslash approx dr where r is sparse, generally speaking. n is assumed to be larger than d to allow the freedom for a sparse representation. Learning a dictionary along with sparse representations is strongly NP-hard and also difficult to solve approximately. A popular heuristic method for sparse dictionary learning is KSVD. Sparse dictionary learning has been applied in several contexts. In classification, the problem is to determine which classes a previously unseen datum belongs to. Suppose a dictionary for each class has already been built. Then a new datum is associated with the class such that it's best sparsely represented by the corresponding dictionary. Sparse dictionary learning has also been applied in image denoising. The key idea is that a clean image patch can be sparsely represented by an image dictionary, but the noise cannot. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?